Hey guys, Pat here, and today I'm going to be draining my loop from that crappy Thermaltake C1000 coolant and cleaning it out with this Blitz crazy cooling cleaning thing there that I have to mix 25 mils of into one liter of water, actually 975 mils, but whatever. Um, and then I'm going to record how I do it, how it's done, and uh, basically a few things we need to start off with. I need to open up the valve that's just under here, which is going to be my, so well, another reason to, you know, get the uh, coolant out is going to be my quick way, but I forgot, well I didn't forget, I didn't have the parts to do it at the time, but now I do, I can add this little blow off valve, which means I can twist it off and let all the coolant out at any point in time, uh, next time I need to clean it out, but hopefully if I do this I won't have to clean it up again, but this way, because I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, rinsing and cleaning it out with this agent that I need to use gloves with, uh, I, I thought this will actually probably be the most useful thing I can put in there right now. So what I'm going to do, guys, keep an eye out and uh, I'm going to un basically open this up. But there's a special way I've done it. I've got a bottle here that I've cut out uh, the, the sides here. And what I'm going to do is, because it's a pin like this, a cover cap like this, I'm going to put right underneath here and I'm gonna basically twist it off. Now the thing is with this is that my system is live, so I'm gonna do it in a way that it does not wet any of the other components uh, like it did last time in my other videos. So guys, stay tuned and uh, let's do this. Let's clean up this system, let's flush it, and let's put in nice some nice new EK liquid. Let's do it. If you want to see how badly this system has been buggered, look at this. Look how that powder inside is spinning. The pump is barely, barely pumping. Hey guys, it's been about three hours. I am like, oh, I'm not, not, not doing too well. I mean, it's hot, it's, it's, it's annoying and, and everything's just not going well, but I am cleaning out my loop. Finally, it's getting to a state where I think uh, I can uh, sort of uh, start putting in the additives to clean it properly. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a mess. But it is a lot brighter, as you can see here. All the gunk is actually um, very visible, and that means I can add the additive and start cleaning it out. What I'm using is I'm using a bit of a syringe and adding the water a little bit by bit, and then using this outlet over here to remove it into the bottle. Uh, it's efficient because I don't have to take the loop apart, but it will take a long time, as you can see. Things are looking, uh, you know what, everything has to get worse before it gets better, so I think this is what that is. Guys, as you can see, I even have the handheld camera up because it's just, ah, oh, there's so much stuff in my room that I'm trying to keep safe and uh, trying to keep the computer running at the same time just so nothing happens. Or, you know, usually you'd say, keep the computer off, but this way at least I know it's still alive. As you can see, it's booting in. Um, what I'm going to try and do now is do it a few more times. I am using a 10 mil syringe, which is taking a while. Should have bought a bigger one, but the fill port on that, um, basically that unit, the pump and reservoir combo is horrible. Whoever made that fill port should be fired. Seriously, it's bad. And I just Googled around to find that uh, it's, uh, it's a normal problem. It's, it's happening for a lot of people. So guys, uh, catch you in a bit uh, and we'll see how we can go with that uh, compound to try and rid my system of cancer. Cancer cure, oh, for computers. All right, look, I have finally put in the corrosive agent into this uh, system, into this build, into this loop. 
Um, it was actually a bit annoying. I mean, I wasted a little bit of it because this doesn't actually fit a whole liter. There's about 500 mils that went in it. Plus, give it take a little bit of the water that was already in there. So I subsidized there as I could. Uh, but as you can see already, uh, just off to the side, it's already becoming crystal clear. And that's what I'm after. There's a lot of crap in there from that thermal take C1000 coolant that I need to get out. And for the next couple of, well, it says 24 hours, so I wasn't going to say 20, I wasn't going to say couple of hours. It's 24 hours. This is going to sit, it's going to spin, and it's going to keep cleaning itself until I can then get it out. So what will happen then is I will actually then empty out what's in there and refill it with fresh water and keep doing this over and over and over again until there is nothing left of the actual corrosive agent and then I can fill it with the nice coolant from EK. Before I do that, obviously I'll try and get as much of the water is out, but I'll probably do a bit of a waste there. I will fill in the EK, then take out the water, fill in the EK and take out the water. We'll see what happens, but I'm hoping to get this up and running very soon. I'm also to the side on the monitor, trying to create a bootable Windows drive because I need to reinstall Windows with the new hardware. Uh, I've had a lot of videos to edit and put together, so I've left it the old Windows installation from the other computer and I got it running on the new system, which is pretty uh, annoying actually with Windows's licensing terms, but it's up and running. So now I will uh, get those videos out to you guys and hopefully, hopefully get this up and running very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching guys. This is going to stand for another 24 hours and I will have an update as soon as I can. Well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. Uh, it'll be a bit for you, but 24 hours for me.